Good evening, brothers, sisters, and gender norm resistors. It's time once again for some more Pirates of the Geek Vortex with me, your host, Olav. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, yes, it's another game night tonight. Seems there's five Fridays this month. Uh, yeah. And of course, it is Easter weekend and all that good stuff, so we figured why not we'll do uh, we'll, we'll do some more game nights. So let's go ahead and jump on in to the uh, Pirates voice chat here and see who all we've got. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Uh, and how has everybody's week been? I was just telling Rask how I am apparently leading another fucking group that is a bunch of degenerates. <laughs> Okay. And it's not the D and D group. It, I was part of a uh, more adult-oriented chat, and that imploded because the leader had power fantasies and wanted everybody to worship them, and got angry when they didn't, so they left. But they didn't leave an admin in charge, and then it turns out they did that in another group. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll just start a group. We'll bring in people from both groups. How hard can that be? Seventy people later. <laughs> And everyone's like, you seem really calm, like you've done this before. Why is that? And I was like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, long story short, I have. Don't worry about it. Just let me get the group running. Let me put the people in place that I trust. And then go off. Have fun. Be degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how have you been this week, Rass? Slammed at work, but I knew what I signed up for. <laughs> that fun, huh? I mean, it's not pizza anymore, and for that alone, I am grateful. Yeah, I could see that. I, I could definitely see that. Uh, yeah, this week has been kind of weird for me. Yesterday was just... Yesterday during the day was just a bad day the uh the when i first woke up i woke up with a migraine because the barometer was going up and then about the time i started streaming it started dropping so my concentration went all to hell and yeah it just yeah <laughs> it kind of showed in the blender stream yesterday where it was just like i could not get anything to work and i couldn't get my head around why uh -oh. But it's better now. I see we have three people watching. I know I'm one of them. <laughs> two workers are. I'm one of them as well. I don't know. <laughs> well, we have two of us now. <laughs> and it's that's always it's always a little it, it yeah YouTube is a little weird as far as how it counts views and stuff. Like, we've got three viewers, but apparently we've got five views, which makes no damn sense. Yeah. Or the, the days where we had, what was it like? We had two viewers listed, but then chat had at least seven people in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, how the hell are you chatting and not watching the video? Yeah, it makes no sense. It, it is it is very problematic. Anyway, um, I'm thinking we'll start off tonight with some uh, with some good old you don't know Jack. That that's a good choice. All right. So let's see here. Way yes, there we go. There we go. And let's make sure we've got... Alright, yeah. You don't know. Go with the classic. Why not? Thank you. 
Binge Pipes menu screen offers everything you need to start a trivia. Ah, uh, yes, the binge pipe joke. Binge Pipe asks the revolutionary question, could a fictional framing device for a video game change the entire future of media consumption? Our investors sure hope so. I, I hit enter and it's like, okay, yep, no problem. And uh, wait, we, we, uh... yeah, it did the same to me. I had to like, wait, I clicked go in. <laughs> yeah. Have questions? Call our Binge Pipe customer support party line. Hi, I'm locked out of my account. Hey, is that the same bald man who was in the other scene? Hi, I fast forwarded it too far. Can someone tell me how to rewind? Anybody near Dallas, like, want to make out? I'm sorry, is there a Binge Pipe representative in here? <laughs> representative. 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 You'll figure it out together. <laughs> Okay. That's yeah. That's okay, that's pretty much it. Guy. Thank you. Our algorithm assures us you'll All love right. this binge pipe. Th this is everybody, right? I think so. You've heard of a tables, ladders, and chairs match, but this week on Re binge pipe. Yeah, I don't think we need to hear about the table, ladders, and chairs match. You don't know Jack. Binge pipe. Nobody be a hero, and we'll all get out fine. I'm sure. Hey, I'm Cookie. Welcome to Binge Pipe's very own You Don't Know Jack. Oh yes, this game has always been part of the Binge Pipe family. And anyone who says otherwise will be severely reprimanded. Trust me, <laughs> that's a respectable turnout. Well, that's the normal, you know, And limit, we're off. So. Start the game. Time for question one. To get started, these are the questions. Anchor what? More like anchor where? Cambodia, Singapore, Pakistan, or South Africa? Who picked what? Well, I've seen worse. Anchor Wat is the biggest religious monument in the world. It's also the biggest tourist attraction in Cambodia. Thank you, Civilization IV. I personally experienced a miracle <laughs> Thank you, here. randomly I pulling that out of my ass. <laughs> and rode a motorbike into a monk, and then he didn't press charges. It is a big, mysterious world. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Take a good look at... My love language is my love of language. If you're Dead Sea scrolling through dating profiles, what dating app are you on? E Hebrew, OK Coptic, Arabic Mingle, or Coffee Meets Sanskrit? Mm. Oh shit, Dead Sea scrolls. Oh, I like guess. what you picked. Maybe try cheating? The Dead Sea Scrolls are ancient religious texts written primarily in Hebrew. I okay. almost would have thought they were in Greek, in Hebrew, but... Where you can stop by and say shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and and my... Yeah. Why don't we do it with green? This one's called... The culinary arts are metal as F. And this dis or dad is served. Okay. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a specialty chef's tool sold by Sur La Tab or a death metal band. Answer quick, oh, you'll only oh, have great. a few seconds to choose between I have a chance a here. chef's tool or death metal. And you're all doing this together. You and I so both have a chance. I have up. a little bit more Ready? of a chance. Let's go. Oyster knife. Meat destroyer. Meat claws. Electric wizard. Fish lifter. Mammoth grinder. It turns out most people are average. Wow. Weird. Okay. But I did a whole lot better on that than I thought I was going to be. sucked at that dis or dat. 
The binge pipe algorithm has detected oh, hurt feelings. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. <laughs> Using a screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of Guess you need to be somewhere, is that it? Okay. Perks you can only get through binge pipe. Behold, all roads lead to Mars. Which Bruno Mars song title seems most fitting for the Roman god Mars? The Lazy Song, 24K Magic, It Will Rain, or Grenade? So who got it? I hope this doesn't put you in an uptown funk. <coughs> Mars was the Roman god of war, so he would probably be into a song about someone yeah, jumping I've on a grenade. Mixed them up. Oh well. Of course, the Greek god of war is Arizona Grande. Wow, that joke could have been its own question. Oh well. Coming up next. That's a lot of content. I'm Cuckoo for five. Global Agricultural Statistics. Which of these breakfast cereals is made with the top two most produced grains in the world? Cinnamon Corn Crunch, now with wheat. Frosted Potato Nuggets, now with soy. Fruity Rice Dunks, now with wheat. Uh-oh. Oh, Player okay. Player three screw. No, don't worry. Gray is very distinguished. And how do we do? If you ever replay this question, don't pick that one. Uh. Corn is the most produced grain in the world. Wheat comes in second. Uh, rice is a close huh. third. Okay, so Cereal rice was a close third. Have so. yet to classify the uh, that's why I was thinking nice too. Of the screw yeah. player three. Here's that cash. If you told me it was first, I'd have believed it. No, it's corn is first. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at those scores. Currently, player one is in the lead. Ow, player I don't two, know. on the other hand, you are not good at doing this. Looks like someone needs a little more help. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So, do not be afraid to use that thing. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. <laughs> oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. This is a real party now. It wasn't before? Oh, here's a good one. Ordering Amazons on Amazon. William Moulton Marston, creator of Wonder Woman, also helped invent something in real life that has properties kind of oh, like which no. of her fictional weapons. Her invisible plane, her lasso of truth, her bullet deflecting bracelets, or her girdle of Hippolyta. I love this part. Oh, damn. Marston helped create the polygraph machine, which, like the I lasso, gets to the truth of the I just saw a, a show that was talking about that like, My own personal a few days lasso ago. of truth is a big glass of gin and vermouth. I think my brain discounted it because polygraph technology has been disproven a lot. Yeah. Yes, but then you remember that he was a massive stinky asshole, and you were like, yeah, the lasso has to be it. Point. That's right. <laughs> Ye old diners, drive-ins, and dives. If Guy Fieri uses the traditional English definition of town, what must his flavor town include? A flavor fountain, a flavor market, a flavor cathedral, or... Oh, look out. My friends, player two has unleashed the screw. Your answers are on the go. So what'd you pick? To paraphrase Fietti, this answer is bomb.com wrong. <laughs> Let's put this one on the flip-flop. That means this is wrong, I think. <laughs> Here's the right one. A town, according to traditional English standards, is a village with a fair or market. Okay. I thought an English town, by definition, huh. had to have a little Ow. lady solving local mysteries. Expert screwing player two. Enjoy your cash. I don't know. I hit it. I think I hit it about the same time Caden put in his answer, which. Well, yeah, because that's all the people. Try this on for size. Cashing in on your international friendcation. 
And uh-oh, chest strut fits lime floor. Oh, yay. It's time for a Mr. Clutch Mr. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, eyes up. Here we go. Look at this here gibberish phrase and tell me what popular phrase it rhymes with. France hike. No buddies. Cha-ching. And don't let that punctuation fool you. Uh? Let loose. Be I... free. What? Don't worry what others think. I think it clicked for both okay, me and Caden at the exact down. same time. No, I just, I oh, literally yeah. just... I guess that's it. Ha. Huh. <sighs> at least yeah, when you was paying it attention. <laughs> I... I put down living, laughing, <laughs> loving because I had no idea. Once it was let loose, I'm like, well, what, like foot loose? And... Oh, wait, yeah. Here's one I like to call... What to enjoy? Oh, well, that sounds gross. Oh, wait. <laughs> Binge Pipe recommends. Because you watched Better Call Saul, we thought you'd enjoy a story in the Hebrew Bible about an unbeatable giant, a heavenly prophet, an Israeli king, or a Philistine soldier. Let's see how that shook out. I still believe in you. In the Hebrew Bible, huh. Saul is the first king of Israel. He's also, in theory, Saul later called Paul the for a different Saul. Hate, which is one of the few ways oh, to no, well. your binge pipe membership. That was just a pure lucky guess. I used to study theology for this one. Time for I'd have argued that both answers were correct, candidate. but... Which of these I guess there's also the definition of profit. On the MTV show Oscar Wilde and Out. Dorian is so old, his portrait grows wrinkles. They call you Ernest because you don't exist. As a husband, Sir Robert is less than ideal. Or what is this, Torvald? A house for dolls? Okay, who chose Not what? A clue. The rest of these answers reference works written by Oscar Wilde. Except an for ideal the right answer, Oscar Wilde, which yeah. this isn't because an ideal husband is an Oscar Wilde play. Pretty sure it's Torvald. Torvald is the male protagonist of A Doll's House, which was written by Henrik Ibsen, not Oscar Wilde. Of course, if this play was about your yeah, mother, I... it would have to be a blow-up doll. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, I only act like it's a <laughs> It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster oh, you pick the right answer, the more cash you make. Oh, I'll just <laughs> shut my mouth then. Here's your clue. Girl groups. We'll give you the name of a group. You pick out the members. Good luck. <laughs> That was easy. Yeah. Oh shit. I won't know this one. Girl Scout, just a girl scout, and I'm like three girl scout. Won't know those kids. <laughs> Definitely don't know this.
think I even out on that one. I think I came out ahead on that one. Oh shit. We don't know these. Wait, Betty was a backer? All right. Player one's got it. Not surprising. I did make I a hell of a comeback, you, though. One. You won the game. You did, and I fell far. Celebrate. Unless you're already wearing. I mean, them. you started out the jack attack with hey, negative six thousand. So. Yeah, but I was ahead of both of you for a bit until suddenly I definitely wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do another game or? Uh, let's do another Everybody round down. of this. Get down on the okay, floor cool. now. You want this new players or same players? Uh, I think same That's players. Get down. Gamer okay, said he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be We're on a little bit. He's just finishing up supper. Binge Pipe continues to stick with its commitment to present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. I'd have just said Binge yes, Pipe continues to stick it. I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'll believe in you when no one else will. But not before. You know, you could have squeezed one more person in this game. Next time. We have to have another person. Okay, runners, on your marks. Question one. First on the docket, marry me! Asking no. someone to marry you is nice, but who cares if only one person hears the proposal? If you want everyone to appreciate how frigging adorable you are when you pop the question, how can you reach the most people? A stadium ad in the FIFA World Cup Finals? A celebrity announcement during the Oscars? A 30-second Super Bowl ad? Or a two- -a Okay, what'd you pick? That'll run you about $5 million, and, uh, no. All these choices would reach millions, but the World Cup Finals is seen by up to a billion viewers. Okay, that makes sense. Pretty cool if yeah, that only... is one of your life goals. I'm not a sports guy, so the only reason I know that is I've spoken with some people outside the U.S. who tell me what the big games are in their countries, and it's always people. your eyes upon yeah. this. You can't spell women without omen. If you took a BuzzFeed quiz to find out which Greek mythology maiden are you, you accurately predicted your answer, and no one believed you. What are you? Basically a Persephone, such a Hecuba, fully an Electra, or totally a Cassandra. What is this? <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, no, I had to reread the question. In Greek mythology, poor Cassandra was given the gift of prophecy with a side of no one will ever believe you. Fun fact, you might believe her afterwards, you but not before. Friend group is the Cassandra, I like that someone made a comment you. and heard me frustrated. And like, fine, you know what? Lord Apollo didn't really had a woman fight. Oh, please, like that would ever Here's happen. one for you. No, man's an island. And it's time for this or that. I'm going to read you seven things, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's the name of an island or a TV detective duo. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between an island or a detective duo. And you're all doing this together, so all pay right. attention. All set? Here we go. Trinidad and Tobago. Brazilian Isles. Turks and Caicos. Wallace and Fortuna. Benson and Stabler. McNulty and Bunk. Castle and Beckett. All right, a majority of you deserve my praise. Moving right along. I don't need you anymore. Next up, fart science. 
Oh, great. If someone measured your fart in pascals, what part of your fart would they be measuring? The mass of your fart, the duration of your fart, the pressure of your fart, or the frequency of your fart? Let's see who got it. Oh, what a mass. Ah, I realized it. A pascal is a unit of pressure, one newton of there force per square meter. Scientists it's been a bit are still since I took figuring physics. out how to measure how gross you are. <laughs> Next, the rich get ridiculously richer. So I've heard that some billionaires are calling themselves members of the three comma club because, you know, there are three commas in a billion. <clears throat> Just throw up in my mouth. So tell me this. Yeah. Who would be a member of the six comma club? A quadrillionaire, a quintillionaire, a sextillionaire, or a septillionaire? Uh. Okay, let's take a look. There's no easy way to put this. Ah, damn it, because I thought it would be seven divided by six consequently commas. Consequently, six commas to go along with it. If I had that many commas, that I would was a lucky guess. <laughs> I mean, I would keep all my money, of course, but the poor can have half the punctuation. I'm confused by this answer. Round one is over. Let's see how the game's shaping up. Currently, player two is in the lead. And down here, these players are negatively affecting our averages. When the going gets tough, the tough gets more screws. And remember, round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash for each player that answers wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. Just wonderful, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. How about this one? One plus one equals shoe. Which shoe brand's logo closely resembles the square root symbol? Nike, Adidas, Converse. So who got it? Ah, I damn, I wasn't thinking. I lead you on. None of you got it. The V in the Vans logo looks it, very right. similar to the square ah, symbol. Okay. Huh. But here's something that'll really blow your mind. The O in the Reebok logo looks like a zero. Hey, question. The algorithm demands your input. Would you like a question where the answer rhymes with orange or a question where the answer rhymes with purple? <laughs> Choose on your devices now. Here are the votes. You have chosen. Las Bears should mocha de moi. Set. Let's try a question where the answer rhymes with purple. So I've been texting with this girl from Scotland, and it's great because, right. I mean, seriously, we're never going to meet. So I don't have to worry about doing something stupid, like telling my go-to first date story about the time I got kicked in the butt so hard I limped for a week. <laughs> it's a great story, actually. You know what? I'm going to tell this girl from Scotland about the time I got kicked in the butt so hard I limped for a week. If I want to pepper in some old-timey Scottish slang, how should I tell the story? And go kicked in the... Brace yourself. <laughs> Player one just let loose a screw. Hey, who's ready for a little identity theft? And how do we do? Oh, you're thinking of the time I sustained massive head trauma. <laughs> While both words are severely outdated, kerple means butt and herple means to hobble or limp. <laughs> and to the great people of Scotland, my sincerest apologies. <laughs> that screw is a good move, player one. This is your cash now. Oh, and it looks like we've got some name changes. I'd call that an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had right. to go through a few. And now, hot privates in your area. 
That means you bathed with capsaicin. A United States general can receive on Yelp. A three-star, four-star general, a four-star, four-star general, a five-star, four-star general, or a six-star, four-star general. I love this part. A little low would not answer again. Yelp reviews go huh? as high as five stars. Okay, now I know. Now go back to Yelp to yeah, find I a five-star general don't use Yelp, chicken. So it's like... I I, I know the different names for the five-star general rankings, but I don't know Yelp. Introducing Content Brings Us Together. Oh, okay, I know what this is. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you hate women emerging from water, you might be able to tolerate. When Harry Met Sally, Dr. No, Fast Times at... Well, what do you know? Ah, player three used that screw. Come to terms with these terms of service. Oh, I got it wrong. I already know what I should have picked. Okay, what'd you pick? Sally doesn't don a swimsuit or visit a beach once in the movie When Harry Met Sally, so it's all clear. It's Dr. No, also, isn't it? If you hate no, it was when in general, we got it oh. right. We recommend oh, okay. Sinking. I thought I was going to find out someone drowned in Dr. No, and... No. Dr. No has a woman coming up out of the ocean. Okay. One of the Bond babes. This one's known as. I can't remember which one was in Doctor No. And reality star begins with K. I don't remember her either. Place the three Kardashian sisters in alphabetical order by first name. The oldest, the second oldest, the youngest. Oh, fuck the youngest, you. The second I oldest, don't. The oldest, what the, the fuck? The oldest, the oldest, the youngest, or the youngest, the oldest, the second oldest. Random um, pick. Yep. We, what's the third one? I don't know. Okay, I, I think I only remember Kim. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Chloe, spelled K-H-L-O-E, is the youngest. Kim, K-I-M, is the second oldest. And Courtney, K-O-U-R, etc., is the oldest. Yeah. Well, if you were just a little bit angry after this question, you might want to check your pulse. Well, I gotta agree with him on that. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. Yeah, more yeah, than yeah. one answer can be right. But each time you're up... Oh, oh. oh, was I talking? Silly me. Here's your clue. Centenarians only. I hope you can guess which things are over a hundred years old. Good luck. <laughs> I thought Oreos were younger. Gods. Yeah. I was expecting to see 23 Skidoo. I 
came out slightly ahead on that one. Ditto. I think we all got that one, right? I think so. Got what? That last the one. last one, the fictional character. Player one wins! Hey, I have a positive Thanks score this time. <laughs> you're the big bad winner. How Maybe did I win? Because you're fighting us. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. You don't know Jack! Yeah, I think we can switch games. Alright. Binge Pipes menu screen offers every. Alright, let's see here. What do we got on this one? We've got the invention drawing game. Oh god, that was hilarious when we had everybody playing Mad Birds. Yeah, that one's. But it doesn't work with only three. Yeah, because, yeah, if it, if it requires. A minimum of three. It's like, yeah, it's it's not gonna be, it's not. Gonna yeah, we be can't do split the room either. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you in theory could. You would give the thing, and then the other two people, you know. Yeah, but we we, we all we would have bias. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's let's because that's a the thing. Then. The three of us know each other so well now that if we're playing things like split the room or. Anything that requires you to play to a judge, we know how to sway things in our direction. Yeah, it it it's it's true. Uh, let's see here. I think this one's got. I think six has murder trivia party two. Ain't no party like a murder trivia party. Yes. What is was it? Role models? Everybody, somebody, the planner, the flag. Oh. Huh? I don't remember that Joke one. Boat? I don't remember that one either. I don't remember any of these. Except for Trivia Murder Party. I remember and Dictionary. Dictionary. I remember Dictionary. Because we had fun with the Dictionary. Oh, push the button. It's kind of like the uh, kind of. Yeah. All right. Let's do murder trivia party because we can do that with you know that that goes all the way down to one. So we should be good with three people. Maybe once gamers gets on, we'll we'll try the the joke. But I don't remember that one at all. I don't think we played it. Was it one of those that it requires voice? So I, we just didn't do it that night. I don't think so. How the hell am I in first? Because my battery just died, so I had to plug in my laptop. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. All right. Well, I'm a little smart. The local residents familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to in unrelated news, the Trivia Murder Party killer is still on the loose. And up next, Pants. So Caden's got two heads. He should be pretty good at this, right? Uh, that depends on what the second this is head is. Wake up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. I flooded the roads myself to strand you here in a fight for your life. Only one of you will survive. Quick tip, it's easier to win if you cut all emotional attachments now. Alright, first question. What are those? 
Where's the tallest tree in the world? Very emotional. Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, come with me. Wow, all right. Welcome to the killing room. Time to try to save yourself with a password. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Don't make it easy. If someone cracks your password, you die. Now your nemesis will crack the passwords. Guess either password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. Start guessing! Well, I would, but I don't have a way to guess. The only the safe players get to guess. Time Let me guess, we both did something incredibly childish. Mm. <laughs> Your security's been breached. <laughs> I had hopes that he was just gonna just gonna run out of time. Of course we both put in something in, in completely Surprise. childish. You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. Which of these is one of the eight clown commandments provided by Clowns of America International? Who picked this? I'll have to kill my writers. Let's keep moving. What role did Ellen DeGeneres have in Finding Dory? Oh, I'm fucked. This. Only a ghost got it. And I only know that well, because I didn't want that to happen. Oh, so much. School. Let's try another one. I just one. guessed. Total down on there. Where's Swahili not a national language? <laughs> oh. Who picked this? Huh. The rest of you, it's time. Somebody gets to join me in death. <laughs> Unless we both must out. Now he'll still, he'll this still. This is my tattoo parlor. Kill somebody. Give me a new tattoo by drawing on your device. Bring it. Mm. Yeah, harder. Oh. 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 Harder. Oh. 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 Yay, it's a whole new me! Now vote for your favorite design. The artist with the fewest votes will die. <laughs> what did we decide? Well, I'm dead. Not let this tattoo define me. I had me. no idea what the hell that one me from. I knew this was a bad cool idea pet. for a mini game. Yeah, I'm saying. Couldn't hear you over him. What? What was it supposed to be? It was a variation on the old upper red symbol. Ah. Let's keep moving. But I thought it was on the center of his back, which would make more sense. 
Who picked this? Well, that's no fun. Okay, we're all going to get this one right. Yeah. It's Let's like, try another we're one. All die. My Uncle Chuck choked on a choquette, which is a type of what? Who oh. picked this? Huh. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Time for consequences. Good news. Well, it's well I'm math. Fine. <laughs> Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If any of them do better than you, you'll die. Let's go! I'm frozen. There's just something about numbers, right? This is pretty much the end of the time. I already know I'm gonna die. I guess you're I'm not quite say, good like... enough at math. I'm not sure why I'm that fast. Did I just fucking get bear trapped? You did get bear you're trapped. Not all supposed to die before that. I gotta get more sleep because I don't know what the hell just happened. Let's try this again, I guess. It's time for the next question. <laughs> How tall is each letter in the famous Hollywood sign in California? Who oh. picked this? Huh. Hmm. What the Too <laughs> easy. Let's keep moving. What's the official scientific name for catnip? Who picked this? <laughs> Which leads <laughs> only you. I want to show you something. Is he going to have to re rewind the tape again? It's magic time! Pick a space inside the box to hide. Oh, I sure do hope you're claustrophobic. Oh. Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Good news, I'm giving you a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. Say, entrails! Nice! <laughs> you really squandered that second chance. You won't get a third. We all died. <laughs> huh. So that's a possibility here. Yep. Yep. Cause of death so, unknown? Sequel? Yeah. I think it's because it doesn't tell you who ran the sword through you. Oh. Eh. Still, you, we know the cause of death. It was the sword. I think I like this one better than Trivia Party Murder Party One. But it may be because you you had to die twice. You died twice. Yeah, and I think that's you should join our murder hotel there's no survivors program and eventually get discounts there. on the hotel Wi-Fi. First question: What is a caldera? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. Follow me. It's the first to die again. Doom service! We're at room 113. Pegs! This could go very wrong. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Okay. All right. 
Let the games begin. Ooh, I just love watching this one. Come on, the idea was for people to die here. It's not my fault. I didn't pick the I'll death zone. Know, I had to get a reverse mortgage on the family murder hotel to fund all the money I'm giving out this game. So I hope you appreciate it. Let's try another one. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Whose law is this? <laughs> Who picked this? Well, that I would sucks. hope we'd all get it, that one. You think Heisenberg's Let's law, really? Moving. I don't even know if Heisenberg had a law. a bunch of drawers for hiding stuff, so I should get an antique... What? Who picked this? Huh. Now I want to see one. The rest of you, time for consequences. Oh, play God. a game of Quiplash. What? Do they have a crossover? Drop to your devices. Type in the funniest answer you can think of and hit send. Even when we don't play Quiplash, we you should have plenty football. of time to write something funny or to Google something funny and then plagiarize it. Okay, let's see what gags and goofs you guys came up with. A better name for ghosts. Like Tim? Now your friend will vote for the answer they like best. Let's see the votes. Can't argue with the votes. This man's never seen an election year. <laughs> Let's try another one. What golf term means the same thing as a double birdie? Who picked this? Huh. I don't golf. Neither do the I. Most of you, it's time. <laughs> Albatross was what I picked. Let's play this with what I picked. Now Rule that's as much uh, as you want to add to your score. Under, I think. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21, and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. It's kind of spooky to see skulls on dice. Ooh. I'm dead. You busted. Explosions really are the best outcome for this game. But well, the second I saw the 20, I had to roll. Because yeah. you would have beat me one way or the other at that point. Yeah, because I wasn't even going to roll after that. I was just like, no, nah, let it go. <laughs> We're here. The final round is close. Next question. What is a daguerreotype? This. Huh. Only a ghost got it wrong. Aw, oh, crap. Let's keep moving. Which of the following is not found in a prokaryotic cell? Fuck. Damn it, I just saw a... this. Oh, I would never have guessed that. One of you is still alive. Come with me. <laughs> I don't remember my biology that well. I just saw a YouTube thing about <laughs> something similar to this. 
Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! I wonder if anyone's paying attention to what I'm saying right now. Mushroom, mushroom, stinky shark, Sacramento. Almost out of rules time! Well, now I'm mad at everybody! Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. <laughs> we actually get to the final round this time. Congrats on making it here alive! But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Tomato varieties. Tap each answer that fits the category. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. I'm going too easy on you. Adult Swim Cartoons. Huh, didn't know Rick and Morty was Adult Swim. Yeah. Next question. Gymnastics moves. That ghost can smell your life force. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. It's only darkness. Actors in Sharknado, one through five. Time is almost up. Kind of a gimme. Peppers. Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. Matrix characters. Time is almost up. Let's just call that a fluke. You killed your friend. Ow. Better get away fast. <laughs> Roll doll books. Huh. Now, One last trap. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. Ooh. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Maybe I'll have one. We all got that one perfect, too. Yeah. You know what, one day I want to see what the murderer looks like. Alright. Different game? Alright, yeah, why not? Well, let's see what else we've got here. What was that other game that we were looking at? Uh, the Joke Boat... Let's, let's see what it is. Ahoy! You're the you're an amateur comic at a fourth-rate cruise ship. You have what it takes to win the talent show. Yeah, it doesn't say that that's out loud, so I don't know why we didn't. I don't know. I'm 
Unless we did and just don't remember it. I mean, you want to try it? I mean, we could try it. It's probably I mean, not like, going to be... worse is just the fact that we don't remember it because it's just... It sucks that bad. Yeah, that's, that's entirely possible. All right. Let me get this... Welcome aboard! I'm Chuck Hull, your captain and host for the evening. Go ahead and sign in. All right, I think toot, that's everybody. Toot. We got a scoot! comedians here's tonight's itinerary we're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage but first things first it's brainstorming time before we jump into the jokes let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired on your device you'll be prompted to write various topics Is like the same animals, guy who does people, or objects I fill in whatever you think know. has a lot of comedic potential if another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke you'll get some bonus points Generate as many as you can. You have 45 seconds, starting now. Okay, time to wrap things up. Follow the steps on your device to write two jokes. Trust your instincts, unless they're bad. I just saw dolphin, dolphin, dolphin spy. Okay. I just realized that I was wearing two different shoes. Even worse, I was wearing them on my hands. A doctor told me laughter is the best medicine, but that doctor also put leeches on my groin. So jury's still out. All right, here's your first comic. <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget to say your catchphrase. Well, I guess what you're supposed to be reading them. I'm so old, I remember when Darth Vader was more evil than whiny. That's it. That's the joke. I think, what was the option? To have Simi's? I don't know. Oh. oh, yeah, that was the performant for me. That I is guess. more than fair. I, I guess I, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, you get a bonus for being 100% winner. What the, it's not like we Our have a choice. comic needs no introduction. Fine, I'll perform it. Middle school for me was like Hercules. A lot of labor. Oh, 
Fine, I'll do it. My nickname is you! Because identity theft. Who won this joke off? Place your vote now! Fair. I had to. <laughs> and some credit to you! Folks, put your hand and hook together for our next comedian. Like my friends, I like to am badly wow. used. I was trying to talk and realized I forgot to hit the talk button. Ah. Uh. And it would have sounded even worse. My grandma said the best thing about boners are they really stick out. This one's hard. No, no, the boners are. I mean, the boners go with the friends. I was meant to say, I like my bathrooms like I like my friends. Either way. And a tip of the hat to you. Let's see who's on top and who is scraping the bottom of the barrel. If you're currently losing, might I suggest writing funnier jokes? Just something to think about. Dude. Once someone called into my pizza place and, well, they entered a fax the order and said, write a joke in the inside of the pizza Hope box. everyone is on board. So the manager wrote, my joke. jokes. Making good progress in my self-help book. How to go from a cap one to a ten. That just... Uh. <laughs> Remember, folks, it could be worse. You could be watching an improv show. Whoosh. All right, Rass is up first. I want to open up a store that only sells dicks and call it the Dick District of Columbia. <laughs> Ass versus Caden, okay. I'm so dumb. I thought ride shares were another name for a gangbang. Freeway, <laughs> whatever, it worked. <laughs> Which comedian won that face-off? It was it was kind of a toss-up, but it's like eh, that would just flow a bit comic. better. He <laughs> he flow. <laughs> Wait till you love this one. I call my bedroom the parade because it's colorful and full of gays. I'll do it. Oh, really? With this one? Why are they called fantasies and not happy hopes? Is it bad that I wanted to say why are they called fantasies and not fanta hopes? joke now. Let's 
Let's hear it for the next performer. Wrestling looks like a cross between Weird Al and Fabio. I would also have accepted Weird Al and Hugh Laurie. Now I can see the Fabio part. What's the difference between most people and avocados? I've never eaten an avocado. Fair. <laughs> it's us. Whenever one of us takes well. digs at another one of us, we gotta go with it. All right. Kind of, yeah. Let's look at our starboard. That's a boat joke. My life is in shambles. If you're at the top, that means you're the headliner right now. Which means we're all in trouble. sinking again. There's no time to write jokes from scratch. So, here's the plan. Let's rewrite another comics joke. You'll use the same setup, but we'll attempt to write a funnier punchline. The better the original joke did, the more points you'll earn for beating it. Can you steal the spotlight before the boat sinks? Let's find out. Maybe? Uh... Expect the man going to town on the buffet now. Ooh, I have an idea. Let's turn those screams into laughs and welcome our comics back one last time. My love life is like Bigfoot. Less fun than an amusement park, more believable than Reaganomics. Who are you going up against? A real clash of the titans! Oh, he's going up against the original. That's how we do them. There is no hope for me. I, I gotta no. say, it's, it, that one was a tough one to, to, yeah. to go against. <laughs> up for the joke. I like my friends like I like my bathroom. Bullshit. Which version do you like best? Oh. You know, I can't. <laughs> the original wasn't great, but it, it, it was better. <laughs> Let's throw. Yeah, I'll perform it. Why not? I call my bedroom the parade because there's a constant stream of fanciful people. That's the same joke. I gotta give it for this one just for the delivery. That's fair. Well, less the delivery and more the... Yeah, yeah. the zing. Who comes out on yes. top in this survival of the funny? Like, could I see that being performed on HBO by a woman comic? Yes. Yes, I could. <laughs> cool. 
I'm gonna roll tonight. So this one is interesting. But yeah, defi like definitely needs yeah. a lot more. Definitely needs more people. Yes. But there was another one we didn't recognize, though. Well, there was role models. Somebody's everybody. You're the planner, the flake, the sassy one. Step into the lab and find out. I okay. I haven't played this one, so I must have missed a week or something. I I don't remember this I one don't either. Remember this one either. I think we literally only played this one for Dictionarium and Trivia Murder Party. Good likelihood. Good likelihood. Uh, give me just a moment here. I need to run to the bathroom real quick, and uh, we'll try that out. Okay. Okay. I was hoping we'd get more of a crowd. Yeah, I, I was trying. I used hashtags. Chat. I know, like, you'd think a group chat of 70 plus people, my Facebook group of RL friends, the discords that I'm in. My, my entire maps group and my FC from FF14. Ah, parasocial relationships with shit. Two watching, I think it's us. Yeah, I think it is. I'm going to check and see if the Facebook post got any likes. <laughs> Two likes. And I posted the address to where we were playing it as soon as I got it. In the middle of Maps Night. We have a third. Ooh. Welcome third. <laughs> and not Lupin somehow. <laughs> that is quite possibly my worst joke to date. I'm wondering who our third is. But here's Olaf back. Yep. Is he? Where's the stream just slow? Okay, cool. No, I'm I'm back. I'm back. Well, we're up to four. We have a crowd. be mean. Oh my god, it's, it's like, you know, it, he said he was finishing up his dinner an hour ago. <laughs> All right, uh, what was it? Oh, right, we were going to, we were going to take a look at role models. Yeah.
and we lost two viewers. How? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like I said, they the YouTube is not good at keeping track of that type of stuff. I mean, it's not like we ever get back. You must be the guinea pigs I ordered. Sign in with the room code and make sure to snap a selfie or draw yourself for our records. Uh, do, do I have to? Somebody went the easy route. I have no shame, so... Hey, I was gonna put no, you put pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> we are, uh, we, we, we definitely do not, we, we are definitely just like, yeah, just there. Alright, uh, yeah, everybody Three, said. Two, one. Welcome to Role Models. We're not mad scientists, we're glad scientists. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the genetic magic that makes each and every human a truly unique individual. But that was hard, so we found a shortcut. We theorize every friend group has some version of the smart one, the popular one, the troubled loner who I can change. You get the idea. And these roles make it a lot easier to figure people out with science. You guys are going to match your fellow test subjects to the roles that fit them best. My lovely okay. assistant will put all the data into the tubes, and at the end, we'll crunch the numbers and tell each of you who you really are. Now, have you all changed into your little paper gowns? Good, let's do this. I live in a paper so gown. What are you talking category about? Category to get us started. Vote for your favorite, but try to make it something everybody knows a little bit about. <laughs> wow! So really, we didn't all just pick regret. Which popular karaoke song are each of you? So, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, we'll check out the results. Let's see who's who. Let's see the votes. Yeah, I'd call that pretty conclusive. <laughs> yeah. We have our winner. Woohoo! And I, like I put 99 on that one? So Why, yes, I did. So I'll give you guys these nutritious <laughs> science pellets. Whatever your answers match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they're delicious. And your 99% guess is 100% right. The little pellets on With as much curry as I eat, I am. <laughs> Get rid of the outliers. Hooray! Okay, did the lights just dim? Really? Nice use of the 99%. Yes, really. This song speaks much more. Are you Subjects kidding me? I'm the one that drinks one, every so stream. We'll these votes. No, the actual I get knocked down, Never but I get up keep again. You down. Yes, and I've had and I've done the nights of drinking that they sing about. <laughs> He's had a whiskey drink. Like He's had a longer That's drink. He's had the songs and that. Here's no. how you're doing on science pellets. Remember, you get pellets when your answers match the group, or you perform the best in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to be the lab rat of the month. Give me another category. <laughs> we got to go with muffins. <laughs> I, oh man! See, no, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'm just fine. We'll all go with Star Wars heroes. <laughs> all right, fine. I was gonna say reason, reason why you crapped your pants, but. Star no, Wars this here. is the geek vortex. We have to at least have something a little bit geeky. 
Muppets is still kind of geeky these Looks days. That's why I said Muppets are strong. Wars. Each of you. <laughs> oh, Don't no. overthink this. And make sure to tap that 99% next to the roll you're sure you're right about. Ooh, uh... uh, yeah, I, I mean... No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm going with that one. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm relatively sure. Let's see where we landed. All right, so where are we putting me? Might want to work on your parenting skills. <laughs> I did not vote for that. Nope. You didn't vote for me at all. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I, I voted you for really you. You really know yourself. Or at least what your friends which, think of which you. Which did you put me as? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> at least we all agree on Kate. <laughs> You're too cool for space. I was going to put Rash as Lando, but I was like, but who's more likely to stab me in the back? That would be old. <laughs> Here's who's who. Yeah, but you see, Ras quick, is a you, bit more coordinated than I am. This. You know more about your friends than you probably should. <laughs> yes, could. but I was going with, like, the actual Lando, the I'm going to pretend I'm cool, but I'm stabbing you in the back. Okay, you've each yeah, had some roles Yeah, but he ran an entire belt. mining operation. Let's see what operation. the data tells us. I mean, that shit's you two, easy. You just pretend you know what you're doing. You've got something in common. I can't stand not knowing who's better. What would be your go-to outfit for a blind date? Answer the prompt on your devices, and we'll settle this once and for all. Uh... I don't have a place to write it. No, you don't, because it's between me You're and the Kate. choice. You, you're uh... the choice. All right, this is what we got. Vote on your devices now. Damn it, this is actually a hard choice. <laughs> I said what I said. I gotta give it to Olaf, partially because it's what I would wear in the scenario, or something close to it. Ooh, we have a subject with a unique role. And with unique powers come unique responsibilities. Pick someone on your device. Let's see how that shook out. Ooh, looks like someone's got a unique role. That means you get to do something special. Make your selection on your device. This place role, Caden is a real hero. They will not pick a sidekick to reward. Let's see what happened. Okay, what will our last category be? of the Justice League fits oh, each of no. the best. <laughs> Assign those roles. Good there. Uh... Let's find out who you are. right that's a tie time for another test to see who gets this role vote on your devices now to dress whoever up wins in a gets weird the role. And run. okay okay i i admit to me <laughs> there's a reason i picked him as batman forming the best in this experiment is definitely worth a few science pellets just don't spoil your dinner <laughs> Sometimes one vote is all it takes. Here's how it all shook out.
one last thing before the experiment ends. Let's see if we can draw any more conclusions from your roles. I can tell from your roles, you two are complete opposites. From a very specific point of view, anyway. We're gonna pit you against each other and see who wins. I think we're wins. both friendly and grumpy. You and your other single friends are yeah, but out which of the one's club. Of wit? What's your goal for the evening? I want both of you to write an answer that fits the trait above your head. Your peers will decide whose answer fits the best. Caden's going for friendly and Rats is going for grumpy. That's the raw data. Vote on your devices now. Oh. I. <laughs> I, neither one of them. No clear winner there. Yeah. Honestly, the paperwork will be a lot easier if we just go with you. Neither one of them really fit the roles. One of you seems sure, to have a unique role. I'm so friendly. You just give me your shit. <laughs> I've That's... got something I need you to do. Make a choice on your device. Judged by this role, so we're here now. They will pick a sidekick to reward. Oh, uh. Let's see what went. Aiden's gonna be Aqua Boy. <laughs> that was the final piece of data. Here come your final roles, as determined by everything your fellow lab rats said about you. It was Aqua Lad. Thank you very much. <laughs> Extremely fr friendly diplomat, wanna be romantic. Neighbor hidden sauce. And superhero our lab rat of the prom. month with the most total size. I can, I, is... I, 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 I can relate to that one. Barely <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> Hardworking Hard. hero. You know, that actually does... That I actually, know, yeah. Yeah. I can get grumpy. You've seen what I complain about. Yeah, but you're barely grumpy. Yeah. Um, no, no. 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 Are you the only one that fed the mouth? I guess. Oh. Do you want to do this again? Uh, I think so. Uh, gamers, are you ready to join in? Because if so, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and do new players. Let me take take a picture with my with, uh, because I'm on because I'm on PC. I don't know if this will on my computer. I don't know if it'll let me take a picture, but I'll, I'll try. Nope, it won't. It, it, yeah, the because I'm because I'm also streaming, it won't do it. Yes, I'm just as horrifying as I hoped. I slightly altered my picture. It occurred to me to have olive pose instead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we just gotta wait for, for gamers to get his mic set up. Also, I could not get the camera to zoom back enough to just display me in my tidy whiteies, so. And we are all very thankful for that. 
Curse you, limitations of technology! It's not our fault you didn't have a good setup for your camera. It's on my monitor, I mean, it's... Eh. I've seen you in chats. Assless, no <laughs> doubt. All chaps are assless. Yes, but I mean, I was only wearing a thong under them. I wow. know. What did I not... just walk into? <laughs> you were asking what kind Jesus of club I go to that allowed nudity on a first date. Well, okay. the club. That was C Street, Orchid, that place I got busted at in New Orleans, Crucible, Fallout. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna. Ask, I got out of it. It's gonna ask you to change to to draw yourself or take a picture. Oh. Okay. It's, Can I not upload it? Can I not upload a picture? I don't think no, so. You no, you gotta take a picture. No. Oh. Well, that's lame because I don't have a camera. <laughs> well, then just draw yourself. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, is this a newer Jackbox? I don't remember ever. Yeah, this is. Well, well we this, were saying um, we played this like once, and we only ever played the dictionary game and trivia murder party two. All right, fair enough. You know what it was? I know why we've only played this once because this was the one we were playing the first night we ever opened up for the audience. So, like we just had everybody jumping in. Okay, yeah, and they wouldn't necessarily know us. <laughs> All right. Three, All right. Two, uh, so I one. myself. What do I do now? Now we back. welcome no, to no, Roma. No, okay. Please don't touch oh, okay. anything. Here at the lab, <laughs> we've spent years searching for the genetic magic. Shame I can't let you just upload a a I, I guess that's uh, for. Uh, but that was hard, so we safety had a short reasons, cut. safety we purposes, yeah. Every Otherwise, everybody would be uploading of photos of their penis the or some shit. Well, I mean, there's I don't need to upload pictures of my dick. I'm a furry. I can just traumatize you all with that. Make it a lot easier to figure no, people out <laughs> with science. <laughs> you guys, we're good. We're good. Going to match your so yeah, basically, we're gonna we're gonna sort ourselves into roles. Fair enough. Vote for a category to get us started. Oh, Ideally, we'll something everyone Please, knows a we'll little bit about. Death. All right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to hit submit. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Old timey death. So, who is what old timey death? Each of you have died in 1610. Oh, Jesus. So, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. Okay. That includes yourself. Uh... Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. Easy. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, we'll check out the results. Okay. <laughs> Let's, let's see how we Let's do. see that data. <laughs> let's look at those votes. <laughs> Take out the outliers. <laughs> <laughs> That's our winner. Uh-huh. I, I like it. to reward my lab rats for positive behavior. So I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whenever your answers match the group. So, so for me, I'm lost in the is wilderness. Is that what's going yeah. on? Yep. Plus, you would die by being lost in the that's, wilderness. That's, that's, that's perfect because that's that 99 percent guess paid off. That's that's me to a T. Lost in the wilderness. Yippee. You'll look great in a waistcoat at your funeral. <laughs> I look and great in a waistcoat no matter what. Bonus pellets to award. <laughs> Excuse me. I think we got these backwards. Subjects who already have a role don't need another one. So let's lose these votes. 
we all totally we all totally knew it was Kanan. Uh -huh. just like, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Olaf. You get fucked up. Yeah. I put Olaf for uh There we it's go. It's so hard to get a prescription for that anymore. Am I the only one that was like, oh yeah, I'm certain of this one? There's our lineup. And no, here's I science was certain that Rast would probably be that one, but Just I didn't Just a reminder, want to I'll reward you with pellets when your answers match the group, or when you do the best in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to beat your fellow guinea pigs. I thought we were rats, not pigs. Okay, <laughs> I know where I'm moving going, on to the next experiment. Methods of hiding genitals? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, nicknames is kind of weird considering you're all going by nicknames. Yeah. Which method of hiding genitals are you? Oh, well, jeez. Let the truth telling begin. And don't forget to tap that 99% next to the role you're most sure about. Yeah, Let's see I'll, what everyone I'll picked. Yeah. Nothing to see here. See, annoying Caden, it would be like an extra long, unnecessarily long sensor bar. No, no, no. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Feels like I saw something. Someone is dressed no. for movement. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that one. See, I figured gamers would go with the, uh... Well, hmm, it's because I'm like still traumatized over the whole you and address thing you. from Cyberpunk. I've got a consolation <laughs> role that might do Oh, the yeah, job. that's the thing. Like, I figured you would go with the Fleet of Targets. Like, it's like, the big leap is Olaf. Everyone off. vote on which role fits our neglected subject the best. Nope. Nope. It's so close. It's so close. Can't argue with numbers. And this what? roll comes with some science pellets. <laughs> Whip cream? What? I went with a fig leaf because most people would confuse it for a maple leaf. Here's where we ended Both up. Both of those seems just like freaking George Costanza way, answers. You are freaking me out with these No, I went with Get fig leaf for Olaf because I was like, I could see him in a thumbnail just in a fig leaf. Okay, I feel like I'm getting to know I'm you guys, concerned. so let's see if I can do anything with the data we have so far. All right. I'm a little concerned as well. You guys, yeah. your roles tell me you share a common into? characteristic. You guys are like what? twins, but one of you has to be better. Old timey STD. So you're, you're the heartthrob. What's your attention getting opening line? Answer the prompt on your devices, and we'll settle this once and for all. And remember, you're trying to play off as a heartthrob. Good luck. <laughs> so we have to type in our, our uh, yeah, attention what? getting opening line? Yep. I don't know with. if the leisure suit Larry responds. I don't Vote know. Vote on your devices now. <laughs> Have a gun? What? I'll Hold on. Judge to be fair, you're in Tennessee. <laughs> it said attention getting. What gets more attention than that? Yeah, but that's not a, exactly a heartthrob answer. Last category. Excuse me, Jason good. Dean with an amazing heartthrob. No, no, it would be, attention everyone, this is a robbery. Put your hearts in the bag and no one gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> put, put the love and affection in the bag. <laughs> it's going to be a very messy bag. It's going to need disinfecting. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, fuck you, famous landmarks. Clue murder weapons was it. Which famous landmark? America with you? the oil drum. <laughs> okay, make those matches. Ooh, this one's challenging. Uh. Oh, yeah, the insults aren't really going to hit tonight because, as I was telling Rast and uh, Olaf earlier, oh, I'm, not I'm actually... currently leading a 70 plus person adult oriented furry group chat. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, they have been trying to insult you for a month and a half. I'm just like, guys, you can't do it. Let's see that data. Hooray! BN we, I think. Because I have women jumping off of me because they're werewolves? Really? There's a lot of you to go around. Hey! <laughs> this is the one I voted for. <laughs> yeah, me too. I love your posture. I was like, he's gonna I... brag about being drunk all the time. Well, no, because he's like always like at relaxed and you know. Wait, so that means you all voted me? <laughs> Cats love you. <laughs> I, hate, I hate you all. Rasslin, you're in my good books, but the rest of you, go fuck And I doubled <laughs> down on it. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably be entertained by the All world's right, we've largest got our lineup. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was the final piece of the puzzle. Allow me to present your final roles, determined by everything your fellow guinea pig said about you. Bloody futuristic techie. That, that is surprising. Yeah. Carefree, vulgar, super flirt. Yep. 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 Not <laughs> very sexy love. <laughs> oh, and our winning lab rat with the most total science That's pellets rude. is... Sounds about right. Sounds about right. <laughs> Artistic, spicy, stalwart. I... What? Sure? <laughs> Well, I, I can agree with the artistic part. Yep. Yep. For sure. Mm. Spicy. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this one. This one is a fun. It's, it's, it is. It's, it's fun. This would be more fun in person so we can punch each other. <laughs> you can get a t-shirt of your... Oh, my God, no. <laughs> I'd rather not. Um... <laughs> Uh, do we want to go with a different different game? I'm I, having fun with this whatever, one. Whatever you guys want. I, I, don't, I, I wouldn't mind one more try at this. All right. Yeah, it doesn't, even, doesn't matter to me. Here, one more round. Right. Let's do one more. Two, one. Let's try to agree on the category this time. Will everyone vote for the category that looks the most interesting. Preferably something you all know a bit about. Frasier? I don't really know anything about Frasier. I like girl tail cookies, but superhero origins kind of fits us better. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that one's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the one I picked as well. Especially since girl tail cookies, you know, change when you change bakeries. How would each of you obtain superpowers? <laughs> Nobody's getting that roles. Point. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see where we landed. Not the one everybody else picked for me. Right. How did I know? Take me to your orphanage. <laughs> This was the hard one. Cha ching. And yet, really? Because I only because I couldn't figure something else out. I mean that. that was like, I'm not a radioactive a spider time. bike. That means we get to do an experiment to see who gets the roll. Okay, so enter your answer on your device. 
Your it's fellow lab rats will decide whether you get the role. Even if you're not sure you want the role, not written in Charlotte's Web, but should have been. I'm handing out science pellets to the winner, so do your best. It's an experiment, man. You think rats always want to run the maze? Uh. There you have it. Vote on your devices now. In science, we call that a shutout. Acing this test definitely deserves some science pellets. I don't know how that... Don't say I never did anything for you. It goes along with radioactive spider bite, but... Ooh, still no roll for oh, you that's after what we had all to that do? data. Oh, okay. Don't I worry. I've that. got a plan B roll Well, that that's what we're supposed to, to kind of, like, lean into, but... Yeah. Yeah, no, I... Everyone nobody vote really on which role should go to, to this me. perplexing I'm subject. I'm guessing everything. Uh... Mother me Uh... Think... Carefully with your choices, people. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should feel good about this, probably. And I'll reward your behavior with some science pellets. Mother made out of clay. Really. Here's our lineup. And here's everyone's science pellets. Well, I, Don't I, forget, I you get those tasty exactly. pellets when your answers match the group, or you earn a role in a tiebreaker experiment. Look, Keep let's just face it, be the winning test we didn't subjects. get the origins that would be our origins. Mine would have been forgot the safe word. No, mine is definitely getting chosen What's for my moral. Category? My lack of morals. Mm. One gained superpowers through a fet life pole, that's all I can think of. That would be horrible for powers. I like that one. Yeah, I think. Which slogan for a tasty treat are you? Don't overthink this. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. I had to go with the one I did for Olaf. Let's find out who you are. Alrighty. <laughs> it's all yours. Huh. Nice use of the ninety-nine percent. Because we've been taking shots already. He he knows he knows me. He knows my personality. All right. <laughs> See, that's what I put gamers as. Nice. No, it has to be Raz. Fair enough. No, 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 no. Raz. I don't tend to smile. Raz should have been in an easy being cheesy. He comes up with no, the you're cheesy. Easy being cheesy. He comes up with the cheesiest fucking the cheesiest. But he would never puns. say it ain't easy being cheesy. That is something you would say. No, but it's I what slogan fits outcome. him best, not what he would say. Well, if I can't see him saying it, it doesn't fit him. It fits him because he is Here's cheesy. where we landed. <laughs> oh, and you? I mean, we're all You cheesy. are scary good at this. Do you yeah, want Yeah, but Rass makes me cringe. <laughs> I'm good at that. Okay, we've got some solid info on each of you. Now let's run the numbers and see if anything interesting pops up. Your roles tell me that you're polar opposites, at least in this one extremely specific way. We're not what? leaving here until we find out which of you is better at being you. I'm confident. You're on Jeopardy. The compared to anxious. Do you share with Alex? I want both of you to write an answer that matches the traits above you. Confident in your anxiousness. Okay. The others will decide who did the best. I you have to write an answer that suits you as being anxious or telling something. There you go. 
Vote on your devices now. Damn it, the weird thing is I can see Sean Connery saying either of these. Well, it's because Alex Trebek is Canadian. No, 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 no. <laughs> SNL, the... the... I, I know what you're talking about. I know, I know, you're, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. No, I'm saying that I'm not currently wearing underwear. That's the voice I hear it in. <laughs> yeah. yeah I you know, got to be confident. Rules tell me you share a common personality totally trait, too. which is cute and all, but there can be only one. You're at a trade convention and can write anything hey! you want on your name tag. You're both you inhuman. Write? I always Answer knew Answer the it. prompt on your devices, and we'll settle this. We're at a trade all. con. <laughs> Oh God, Caden, think of the children. Um, <laughs> I would have just written. Oh God, uh, I'll answer afterwards. <clears throat> I said it, and I am not back again. Okay, there's the data. Vote on your devices now. That might be a bit of a dip, deep cut. I <laughs> uh, no, I paid for that spa job to be shallow. <laughs> and a trade convention, I might have written down results. rough. Also depends on which pause I'm using. See, Dick Sullivan was Ooh, looks uh, like someone's got a unique third rock role. from the sun. And with unique powers come unique responsibilities. Pick someone Wait, so he's Batman device. and he's super rich. Let's see how that shook out. That is the most Bruce Wayne move I've ever heard of. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, but Gamers is Canadian, so that's only like... Oh shit, taglines and famous two. lines. Yeah, it's, it's worth about maybe half a cent. Yeah. <laughs> Always trying to be unique. <laughs> but like in most things, America bullies everybody else. <laughs> what classic one-liner are you? Let the truth-telling begin. Scarecrow, most of all. Joker, more than Scarecrow. <laughs> Chill out, Gordon. Sure, you gotta see it. I love how we just all picked Caden for that game? one. That's hilarious. <laughs> I can't even remember what it's from. <laughs> and we both that doubled the fuck guess uh -huh. paid off. <laughs> and now I'm trying to remember which of us is older, me or Olaf. I'm 46. You've got one year on me, then. One last thing before we close the book on this experiment. I think Kaden is the youngest, maybe? Let's see what else we can determine from How your old are you? roles. I Ooh, we have Hayden. a subject How with a unique you? role. How old are you? How old am I? I'm 42. That means you get to do something special. Yes, I'm the youngest, and that's the most Make handsome. your selection on your device. Ooh. That's the most <laughs> egotistical. <laughs> I'm going to throw you a toonie. <laughs> that's 
So it. The experiment's complete. Raz donated three and Caden stole them. Everything your fellow subjects said about Fine, I didn't need them anyway. <laughs> Wealthy, friendly I have more than enough maple syrup to last the life. Gamers is barely overwhelmed artificial introvert. Celestial cheesy super alien. And Definitely my favorite an little lab rat with the most total science pellets is... Very confident, lucky, quasi-animal... I, I'm gonna really question the super, the very confident. Are you Spider Man? I mean, you come off as very confident in your streams. <laughs> Does he though? Yeah. I mean, at least you're only a barely over overwhelmed artificial introvert. Yeah. I'm just cheesy super alien. Pretty much, yeah. All right. Wait, does that make me Martian Manhunter? I think are so. Are we doing it? Are we doing another round of this or are we going on to something else? Uh, I think something go on to something else. All right. We don't want to burn ourselves out on a game. All right. So. Why not? No, I'm just <laughs> Oh, that's did right. Get... We we did we did uh, we we didn't do this one when we first got this pack because yeah we had the people that other people were in and we're like they aren't gonna know us. So yeah, exactly. We're like, we, we can't do roles if we don't know people. Yeah. All right, let's move on to a different pack. No, I, I kind of want to do joke boat with gamers. <laughs> I agree. Hold on, what's that joke boat? Yeah, we have to write jokes. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is why we decided we want to do this. <laughs> let's, 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 let's see what else we've got. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, you're cutting him slack? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Do we want to do one of the quiplash? Do we want to do one of the fibbage? Do we want to do... Uh, blather round. Uh, we've got some of the drawing ones. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? Um, something we haven't played in a while. Agreed. Hang up. Let's see. Um,. We haven't done any of like the 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 drawful or anything like that in a while. Have we done any uh, quiplash in a while? I don't think we did it last game night, yeah. but we definitely so, always do quiplash. Do you want to do a you want to do like one one or two rounds of quiplash, and then we'll go into like something else? We could do that. Hey. All right. Cool. Have we played any of like the mini game esque ones? No, because we generally hate those. Those are just. <laughs> no, I don't... I don't mean like devil in detail. I mean like earwax or any of that shit. Well, earwax, I don't think we've done in a while. I'm Let's... concerned with some of the names of these games. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's just natural. <laughs> that's that's just normal. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Where was which one was earwax? Okay, so earwax is in pack two, which also comes with a version of quiplash and fibbage. Nice. Uh, so we'll bring that one up here. Okay. All right. So. Oh, and fucking bomb core. <laughs> oh God, bomb core. That one was a. Oh. Oh, and Bidiots! We haven't played Bidiots in ages. True, and that's one of the drawing ones. So let's let's do some earwax. Let's 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 play some earwax. So if we're gonna do a drawing one, I'm gonna get my tablet out. <laughs> I'm a dinner plate. And appropriately rest the bat. True.
Gamers is a cracked egg. Sounds about right. right. Sounds about right. Goes along with the maple syrup. Alright. <laughs> I think Three, everybody sends. Two, one. Yep. Hello, welcome to Earwax. I'm Mother. So I don't I think I've ever Earwax. played this one before. What's uh We have to make sounds and... before we get going. You're going to get six sound effects wrong. on your device. One of you will be the judge. The judge okay. selects a prompt. The rest of you, you choose two sound effects that you think go best with that prompt. Once all sound effects are in, the judge will choose a winner. First player to reach three points will be the winner. Want to be in the audience? New players can join in the fun. Activating yeah, skip yeah. protocol. Shall we? We don't need to hear about the audience. The, the, the audience is, is kind of self-explanatory. Time to select a prompt. Prompt time. What clogged the toilet? Oh, Select God. your sounds, everyone. What? Okay. So what do we do? Oh, okay. I am I am not very proud of this one. I don't think any of us are. <laughs> what clogged the toilet? Alright. God. Judge, it's in your hands now. So we have somewhat explosive diarrhea. <laughs> First, stop the bleeding. And then murder? The point is yours. Enjoy it. I'm not Meet sure. Judge. <laughs> What'll it be? Oh no. They're all too good. Is there My such a thing? Are the worst signature sign off for a newscaster? One, one second. Decisions are so Damn hard. It. Let me help. It was Amish Party, an unreleased song Amish from Radiohead, Party. or something else. Choose your sounds. <laughs> oh, and what this party is missing. when they give you all the good prompts. Like, shit, which one do I choose? <laughs> you would think that pushing two buttons wouldn't be I as only managed really. to choose one. Amish party. Good boy. <laughs> Let the judging begin. The best sounds have what? been chosen. They are. I didn't pick that, but okay, that works. Good boy. <laughs> One point goes to you. Way to go. Judging this round will be. Select your prompt. And the prompt is Oompa Loompa's pooping. <laughs> oh God! Time to pick two sounds. Oompa Loompa's pooping. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> 
really? Oh my god. Onward. <laughs> Um... Five, four, three... A winner has been selected. Right. The sounds chosen are... Five, four... Three, Oompa can't do shit two, without a presentation. <laughs> you have earned one I, point for I'm yourself. sorry, that sounds like somebody's way too into watching Oompa Loompa's poop. Choose the next prompt. <laughs> Our prompt will be Weirdest two things to buy at the same time. Players select your sounds. Weirdest two things to buy at the same time. Oh my god. <laughs> Judge, do your thing. Uh, wow. This one's actually kind of <laughs> tough to... I'm I'm not sure what to make of any of this. <laughs> A decision has been made. The chosen sounds are <laughs> You are rewarded one point. Congratulations. The judge will be Prompt time. Pick a good See, one. See, the hardest part is we can't hear what we're choosing. Yeah. Well, that's why I have the sound up slightly on my uh, PC so that I can hear. Uh, let's see. Someone is not very good at time management. Uh, Don't worry, I'll help you. The, the prompt is... Oh, shut an up. An unflushed work toilet. Sound selection starts now. Ah, oh, that works. <laughs> oh, I'm not proud of this. <laughs> uh... You already know that Caden's answer is going to be good when he says that. An unflushed work toilet. Judging commences now. <laughs> what? Oh my god, these are all awesome. <laughs> Judging is done. The winner is... No. You are now one point ready. I mean, like, you know it's bad if that's the first the time you make, and then you look and you're still like, no, no, no. Yep. Oh, shit. Pirates in love, wizard sex, what happens when you open the dumpster behind a golden corral, after hours at the zoo, or... Your prompt is as follows. Unreleased tracks from Radiohead. What happens when you open the dumpster lid behind a golden corral? Choose those sounds wisely. That actually what I was gonna choose, my finger slipped. So hey, we'll go with it. What happens when you open the dumpster lid behind a golden corral? Oh god. Th that's more a cracker barrel. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Let the games begin. The fuck kind of golden corral? The no, judge no. has decided, and the winning sounds are. <laughs> That sounds even better. I did, you know. Morning. A winner of this game has been decided. I was figuring, like, you know, the cow was drowning, but no, it sounds like the cow is, like, drowning somebody in the dumpster. It's like, all right, cool. This is the most liked player. Way to go. <laughs> you may have won, but I have their heart. <laughs> Uh, this is why I like earwax. <laughs> All right, so one more earwax. Sure. Three, two, one. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Hello, welcome to Earwax. I'm Mother, and really, I will we be just your host. played. We literally said the. The same player. Here's what's gonna happen. Someone has an itchy. I know, right? I, I, that's the go. one thing I don't understand. They always tell you the instructions. Well, the this test. is the earlier Jackbox pack. Please well, true. Mm, oh no, I have to. The prompt. Oh shit. How Prince makes love. I'm concerned. Please select your sound. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> this should never be a thing to hear. What the fuck? <laughs> and appropriately enough, I'm purple. How Prince makes love. If Prince gives a purple rain, I have medical questions. Yeah. Oh no. no. Of course, Winnie. Hey, kitty kitty. Judge, start judging. A winner has been selected. The sounds chosen are... <laughs> now, is he appearing on a horse? Is he hung like a horse? Is he doing the horse? Is Leave it up to your imagination. Well, it is Prince, so I would say probably doing the Choose horse. The all three. All, all three at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's both riding the horse and riding the horse. And yeah. riding the horse. Yes. He's riding the horse oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. riding the horse while being hung like a horse. <laughs> really? You make it look difficult. Oh my god, it doesn't give you enough time to pick. I'm still reading prevention. all the, the fucking... Problem. Yeah. All the oh, I hate that. Now. But we're all old. Sounds. None of us that are this. What all the teenagers are into. Right? I know. I need to get my glasses out to see what I'm reading. the teenagers are into now. Really? Is that a better punch with oof? Hockey air horn. Is someone suggesting teenagers are into water sports? I don't, don't want to know. <laughs> Incredibly heavily. Not without subscribing to a FetLife Life account again. Begin. All right, I'm gonna have to go with the battle cry and the hockey air horn because I'm Canadian. The best sounds of have course. been chosen. They are. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, when I watch hockey, I don't watch it for the hockey. I watch it for the two motherfuckers about to get into a fight. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't even watch hockey. I'm One the most non-Canadian Canadian I know. The judge will be. Prompt time. Pick a good one. All right. I mean, you gotta admit, there is nothing more manly than two guys with blades strapped to their feet, punching the shit out of each other. Sound selection starts now. Sorry, I went with the jokey fallout answer. What's really in Area 51? Now loading.
Not good. Judge, it's in your hands now. <laughs> okay, we all went with the jokey fallout answer. <laughs> the decision has been made. The chosen sounds are... You are rewarded one point. Congratulations. The judge. Select your prompt. All right. Uh, nope, got to do it. Our prompt will be sexy accident. <laughs> Why are we the purple ones that get sex as our prompt? We are degenerates. <laughs> I'm not doing the donkey brain. It's too fucking easy. Plus, I already made a horse related joke. Sexy accident. All hail the king! Jesus, what happened to the king? <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit. This is a very unlucky right. king. This is... this is... What the fuck is... What is wrong with you people? Would you like that <laughs> alphabetically, chronologically? Yeah, that's about to say. I mean... <laughs> Do you want a holy Bible response here? Like, I'm, 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 this is this is the group that came up with "There's no wrong way to fuck a Reese's, but there's no the right way either." Done. So like go nuts. This is the group that came up with the band name Cosmic Queen. I would have voted for that one too. That one was just perfect. Yeah. Was, <laughs> all hail the kill. One point goes to you. Way to go. That uh, it, you know, I mean, there's it's nothing there, there's nothing sexier than than regicide. <laughs> Jesus, coming from us, yes, we can attest. Alrighty, uh, uh, the prompt. Hey, you I finally, the last I finally got to finally gotta pick one. Treehouse. It's like I just won an award. Select your sounds, everyone. Hayden, remember, we're a family channel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> By family, you mean Reagan family. The last thing you want to hear coming from your son's treehouse. Press here. <gasps> oh, no. This may take a while. Judging commences... Now. <laughs> Damn. Two of these are just freaking perfect. I'm gonna have to go with that one. The best sounds one. have been chosen. They are... Press here. <gasps> you have I mean, to be fair, if I heard someone speed like punching a horse's balls, at the, what the, the fuck judges. are you? What will it be? And the prompt is what you shouldn't lick. Sound selection starts now. Mm. Sorry, was that you deliberating or was you that your shouldn't second? lick? I was deliberating. <laughs> are, are you implying that you're licking judge, a baby and shaving it? The judge has decided, and the winning sounds are... You don't look a baby, you don't look an electric razor. Yep. 
I mean, I was going to the Egyptologist and if you break a pot, there's a liquid. In there. I would, I would add a, a little, a little uh, side note to that, saying yeah, unless you're Mr. Well, Bean, because I'm pretty sure he looked a razor yeah, on like one of the episodes. Yeah, he did shave his tongue. Oh no, I have to. I have to. Here's the bronze. Canadian if you argument. lose this round. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna pick two sounds. Really? <laughs> oh god, god. If you lose this round, I'm gonna be very angry. Oh. It's like we're made it like. No, I've, I've got a perfect one, so we're good. Oh god. Canadian argument. You're not listening to me. My mine yep. speaks solely of the current political climate in Canada. <laughs> Let the games begin. I uh, shit. <laughs> They're not all listening to me. Yep. <laughs> A winner no. has been selected. The sounds chosen are... <laughs> one is yours. Enjoy it. And they can be more on us. America's just like, huzzah! Select your prompt. All right, prompt fine. is as follows. An ugly baby. That we shouldn't lick? Players, select your sounds. <coughs> oh. An ugly baby. <laughs> Good answer. I can make this worse. I... I... I uh, Are all the same, baby? So we're punching the baby, we're killing the baby and turning it into dog food, or... No, I was assuming that we're just calling that baby dog ugly. <laughs> I mean, you beat it enough, I mean... it will be. So the last one, yeah, that... Well, mine, mine was uh, the fact that the, the cow sees the baby, then shits on it. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry, that... <laughs> really? <laughs> there are no right answers. Do you want me to say, yeah, we're gonna punch the baby, or we're gonna squish the baby and then have the dog eat it? You are rewarded. Well, one yes. Well, in fairness, you already just stated that you're not a family channel. <laughs> there really was no. The, the other ones were just a little too much. It's like, look. Inside I, Paula Dean's arteries. Coward. Choose those sounds wisely. Don't like a baby, but don't punch it. Wait, can you lick it after you punch it? Maybe after it's turned into food. <laughs> Inside Paula Dean's arteries. Breathe deeply. <laughs> this, this is gonna be uh, tough. Judging commences now. <gasps> Judging is done. I have to go with mass panic. Breathe deeply. Oh, the game has come to an end as I have declared a winner. Well, yeah, everybody was at two points. <laughs> I figured Caden was probably the one that got... Yeah. Here is the winner of the most likes. Yay. I need to run to the bathroom again, so, uh... We'll, we'll discuss punching right, right. the baby. Yeah. You... Uh, okay, fine. That, what? Whatever. We're playing to our strengths. We're just having to be very good at punching babies. He 
you've seen Wolf Puncher? Well, this is Baby Puncher. <laughs> None of us are getting into heaven. I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up like Jack and just, no. Heaven and L just be like, no. I feel no. like when we first started the Pirates of the Geek Vortex, that's when we pretty much determined that we would not be getting into heaven. So when we first started Pirates, we were all still kind of nervous, so we were all trying to play it safe, except for Sin. It was just Sin. <laughs> Sin never, uh, I, I gotta give you that. Never, Sin never played it safe. <laughs> I mean, we all had various degrees of speaking experience. I had radio. Olaf had been doing quite a bit of direction. Yeah. Caden, I don't know if you already had your podcast, Gamers. I don't know if you did. I had been uh, doing amateur YouTube videos for a while. Yeah, no, I had my channel, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't as many subs as it is now. But um, it also I also was collabing with other YouTubers at the time, uh, doing okay. stuff for them. And then uh, I was like, oh, this this seems like you know I've never been a part of a podcast before. So you know, if we decide to monetize this, I happen to find or I happen to know at least two social media consultants, a lawyer, and an accountant now. They're all degenerate huh. furs, but hey, that might actually help us. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> 80 business practices? Ah, oh, what do I care? I play a 10-foot dragon on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> you ever stop and think of how many furries are actually in tech and business? There's furries at NASA that put things on Mars. But I mean, there's all there's a few that came out as uh, uh, and, and from Hollywood who came out as furries too. So I know, but I'm saying like furries get such a bad rap. But think of all the shit they actually. Do. Yeah. Like uh, one one of the people who discovered the uh, vaccines for COVID. <laughs> Yeah, I remember reading about that, actually. Yeah, and then people question, like, well, why would a furry be the one to find this? Like, because we don't have lives and we're socially rejected anyway, so what else are we going to do? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? We were discussing punching babies, like we told you we would. Why do I feel, Kaden, what you just talked about, why do I feel like that entire conversation probably went like, well, I was just sitting around one day yiffing my friends and I suddenly came up with a cure for COVID. No, I just imagine him sitting there like, oh, well, it's locked down and nobody wants to talk to me anyway, so I'm going to go find that, that RNA thing, the synthesis that makes me my real-life furry. Oh, shit, did I cure COVID? <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to be a sexy fox spin boy. Fuck. All right. Uh, let's go back. Yeah, let's 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 go back. Flash. Let's go back. Flash. So what do we want? Uh, Bidiots, Fibbage, or Quiplash? Quiplash. Definitely Quiplash. Yeah, I think we're in a Quiplash. <laughs> the punching babies really gets you in the <laughs> What is XL? So it has more cards, or...? No, it's just every Quiplash has a... Uh, it has a subtitle. Yeah. So there's like Quiplash, 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 yes. XL, Quiplash. I want to say revenge. Uh -huh. All right. All right. I think that's everybody. You know, come with me, though. We talked about the early days of I haven't seen a lot of our early days. It is time for a ride on the Quiplash Wagon. Let's see who we got. Thanks for starting this game, guys. Got me out of jury duty. Let's get going. That reminds me. Guess what I got this picked for? This is one. Two prompts. Jury duty? Device, which you can yep. answer in any clever or not is it at least a good want. case? Everyone will choose between well, the we'll see. I mean, I just filled out the questionnaire. You score based on the percentage yeah, of Yeah, around here it's not, not for a specific. bonuses at stake. Go. <laughs> oh, fuck it. You know what? We're going to do it.
That's toned down a bit. See, most of, the, most of the time, jury duty around here is just, you know, you get called up, you have to go in sometimes and sit around waiting. Okay, here we go. And yep. yeah, I, eventually, there's nothing. The name of a cable network I've that all no one watches. That's what I called the week before my day came up. So I did that I didn't have duty, so I just didn't show up. Network you can't prove that you own. Okay, next one. The best way to quickly blow a million dollars. Vote on your devices. I figured somebody had to Why go with that. You never turn your back somebody on somebody would, would go with the, the political one. It's voting time. I'm sensing the theme. And next is what dogs think when they see people naked. Time to vote. <laughs> That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. I'm it's not. I'm not comfortable two. with the Everything look that Caden double, was giving me. Twice as much. I'm just thinking of murder. Although, thankfully, I haven't had to block a lot in a while, either. Let's start this show. True. The first prompt is... Something pirates probably aren't very good at. Okay, voting <laughs> time. Pick your favorite. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm going to go with what's funny. funny. You would go for it. Next in line... It would be really weird to have a bobblehead doll of blank. It's voting time. Fuck. Are uh, you kidding me? Uh. Really? I figured Lord Bobert would at least get one. I couldn't recognize the name at least. <laughs> Next up, an inappropriate thing for a detective to say at a crime scene. Vote on your devices. God damn, I wonder who I went up against. <laughs> if there's ever talk about cannibalism, it's usually a. And next? Just concerning, you since neither of us is a vampire. On your neighbors. True. It's voting time. I'd be more concerned with that one. Like, how do the I neighbors? Mean, how do the neighbors get your sex toys? Two. Fire up the scoreboard. My question would be, how did you make them gardening appropriate? My question 
Why are they using the trebuchet like that? <laughs> and now round three, the last lash. That Pro brings up a whole lot more questions that I don't want to even want to ask. Same prompt this time. See, the best part is I know what he's talking about, but I can still say, why do you have a trebuchet? The worst way to be murdered. I gotta go with my. I. 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 I just... If anybody put baby punch me, they lose. How would you be murdered by baby? <laughs> Take a look. Vote now. You get three votes this round to spread out any way you like, or give them all to one answer. I gotta go with this one. Somebody's calls out for you another day. I had I had to go with the uh what was it? Was that one that one it's was over. lock stock Let's and two smoking barrels if I remember scores. right. Alright, do we want to do another one of these? Sure. sure. Okay. Gamer said sure. I didn't hear Caden. He was kind of cutting in and out. They said of course we want to do more quite flash. Okay. Hello there, I'm Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Yes, that Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. All right, you guys, hold on to your butts and also your phones, because here we go. I'm this not using my phone. One. You'll score points based on the percentage. Then how are you still using your butt? Answer. Have at it. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, tough decisions. <laughs> okay, it's time for some quip lashing. Our first prompt is, where's Jimmy Hoffa? Okay, pick your favorite. <laughs> Both would work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's at work in Cadence Bay. Coming up next, the beauty pageant no one wants to see, Miss Blank. Time to vote. The horrible part is, I can guarantee you there is a market for orgasmic diarrhea. Yep, that's why I'm like, ah, yep. shit. Somebody, somebody would be totally into that. Of course you'd say, ah, oh, shit. One. A not very scary name for a pirate. It's voting time. <laughs> uh, 
I am not saying a goddamn thing. Uh, I would be more scared of one ball jack. <laughs> Load on your devices. Uh, um, mm. <gasps> Remember, kids, there are I mean, no right answers. Well, both could work. You could have five. <laughs> I, I, I just, I had to go with that just because of the, the, the explicitly no the more than one. five. Here's the scoreboard. Now you go with the boss's wife because then when they ask you, how'd you hear about this opportunity? <laughs> well. <laughs> On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. I did not like my first question. Let's take a look. Starting things off, the reason Pluto isn't a planet anymore. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. <laughs> and next is a weird way to dry your hair. Time to vote. Yeah, that didn't take much. <laughs> I'm sure the strangers is how you didn't think. And next, the strangers is someone you haven't dried your hair on yet. If they contained blank. It's voting time. <laughs> Next up, you probably shouldn't hire a moving company called Blank. Vote on your devices. Why did these dovetail into each other so well? I had to go with that. I had to go with Gates mostly because that's the first thing that popped into my head when I when I read the problem. Like, yep. Round two. Let's see what happens. Thinking about murder. <laughs> this is round three. The last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Your prompt is... The worst college football team, the fighting blank. It's okay that he takes longer. It means that he's the least horrible person here. Let's see the response. Quiet, you. Hand out your votes. Jesus. The horrible <laughs> part is, I can almost guarantee you who's the one.
See, I knew it. I saw that answer, and I knew exactly who put Smith on. Of course. <laughs> That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. Thing is, I'm not the only one that likes Red Dwarf. I am the only one that dressed up as Lister for a pantsless, uh, pantsless, topless party that a friend of mine had. All the women couldn't wear shirts, all the men couldn't wear pants. So I went with Lister with the, the, the dress shirt, the, the bow tie, the jacket, the furry hat, and boxers. With boots. Does it count if you show up in a toga? Should you have been eating a pizza with chutney all over it? No, no, because that was after the dinner party that Rimmer made, so he was like, you know... He was not wanting to eat anything. <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's 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 try a different one. Let, let's try a different game. Let's end on a different game. Different game is good. Alright, so... Yes, we do want to exit. So, uh, so do we want to do Fibbage or do we want to do Bidiots? Do we want to draw or do we want to lie? I like Fibbage personally. Right, got one vote. This is Bidiots, but that means that Gamer has to play that. Okay, so we've got one vote for Fibbage, one vote for Bidiots. Mm hmm. So, um,. What's uh, Vidiots again? Vidiots you gotta is draw an item and convince us to buy it. Yeah. Oh. Um. And the other one was what? Fibbage. Where are you? Oh, the line, the line one. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I'll do. I'll. I'll do Fibbage too. I'm not the, the drawing one. I've never liked. All right. So for Christmas, we're getting both gamers and Rask a drawing tablet. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely paint my Warcraft minis. I mean, there are some pretty good drawing tablets that that aren't aren't terribly expensive. So I think mine cost me like ninety nine, and it's a Wacom, so you know. Yeah, I think mine costs like forty bucks. It's, it's still good. I actually want to get uh, an optical tablet so that way I can actually see what I'm drawing rather than looking at my screen while I'm free handing that shit. <laughs> okay, so Gamers is in. He just needs to pick a sound. I think. There we go. Welcome to Fibbage. My name is Cookie. Right, this and is the one where we actually get the defibrillator. Hippos right now, so thanks for choosing us. Four of you, I see. It's like the Mount Rushmore of BS. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. You know, audience that's not can wrong. play along for their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And you've got a defibrillator. Use it to remove all but one lie and the truth. And just one defibbing per game. Select a category. Why not? Okay, here's your first question. The Brooklyn Museum's Sackler Center First Award is a prestigious honor granted only to the most exceptional women. In 2015, the award surprisingly went to blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you get stuck for half the points, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Do it now.
Hurry, hit the like for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, there are your choices. Find the truth and enter it on your device by touching the answer you want. Yeah, these are... Hmm. Okay, let's take a look. And we're done. I'm surprised anybody ever put on your heart again. It would... Be so bizarre yet so weirdly plausible that I thought it might work. But the one award she did get, and then right, well. Okay, here's the question. A Krispy Kreme donut shop in the UK apologized for an offensive promotion they ran called Blank Wednesdays. Write your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? This one's way too obvious. Let's see what everybody selected. KKK. Because Krispy Kreme would start the first K's. And that's it. Yeah. Krispy Kreme. You asked me what the third one would be. Let me look that up. Yeah, I kind of want to know what that third one is. Yeah. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Scientists believe over 30% of the distant planet, 55 Cancri E, consists of pure blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, so the KKK Wednesdays was intended to stand for Krispy Kreme Club. Okay, that makes sense. Club spelled with a K. Yeah. But it was like, that's the only thing I could think of, like, would be just between custards or something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? I'm actually going to look <laughs> Figured gravity well equals carbon equals concentrated carbon. Hmm. Makes Honestly, sense. Honestly, they're just thinking about a lot of planets. Oh, hey, wait, I forgot to uh, switch over my calendar. What is today's inspirational quote? This today's inspirational too, quote is onward and doubled. upward. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of health. Use it in round two or lose it. All right, pick a category. Well, we ain't waiting forever. Time for another important celebrity quote. Celebrity quotes of great importance. It, it, 
Oh god, I don't like I how it doesn't let you pick fast enough. I love the smell of blank. Yeah. I even like when they're wet and you smell them all warm like baked goods. Sarah Jessica Parker keeping it real. Input your lies now. <sighs> I, I am so not wanting to know what the hell the, the answer is to this. If you can't think of anything. Waffle. Okay, where's the truth? All right, who picked what? I realized it's probably diapers. That's the stuff. And nobody picked any of these other yep. lies. Select a category. It's not hard. You know what? We'll just stick with this one. <laughs> okay, here's the question. Ancient Romans who got too drunk and woke okay, up with a Okay, at that time I actually picked a category, though. Strange cure. They need a deep-fried blank. Like, I picked funeral. Now. I don't know why it didn't register it. God, what was it? Yeah, I remember that this was a question on the trivia. Hurry, hit the live for me button if you can't. Well, not this was the one before. It was the energy. Yeah, it was something very similar. Okay, find the truth. I like how all the possible choices are in a row. Let's see what everybody picked. Well then. <laughs> yeah. Nobody else is More reason that the Romans were fucked up and should have died out to very much sooner. Time to pick a category. No, 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 that's okay. I've got it. I swear, okay, here's I, the yeah. question. If you were to fly over the headquarters of mobile internet company NetDragon Websoft in China, you might notice something unusual about the shape. It's built to look just like blank. Type in your lies now. Where's the truth? Hmm. All right, who picked a watch? I figured if that was gonna be a lie, it's gonna be Rasses. True. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. You have arrived at the final fibbage. Everything rides on this one, final question, and it's worth triple. Anybody can win it. Here's your final fibbage question. The number one cringeworthy sound, according to a study conducted at Salford University. Write your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Yeah, it was a Let's toss up. Let's see if they're right. I... Well, impossible to know for sure. There are no scientists here. And that means. I don't think anybody was gonna anybody was gonna catch Rass. <laughs> that was a chance. We were tied <laughs> around. All right, so we've been going for uh, over t over three hours now. Yeah, we're back to our usual run time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You guys want to do one more fibbage or call it a night? I'd be up for one um, more. Uh, you guys can. I got to head out, unfortunately, but uh, it was uh, awesome hanging out with you guys, and I'll see you again soon. All right. See you next week, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Yeah, Happy Easter. Too. Happy Easter. Yep. What were you going to say, Katie? I said bye-bye. Oh. I... Your, your mic has been kind of wonky t today, so... Yeah, all I'm right. on my phone, so it's also running the stream. Ah. Do one. Hello, I'm your host, Cookie, and everything in our lives has led us to this exact moment. Three of you? Okay, we can do that. Let me just get rid of the really good questions, and uh, we're good. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lies. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a helper, the defibrillator. It eliminates all but one lie. Only one use per game, so use it wisely. All right, pick a category. Really? Fetish just popped up? Or about all night? Okay, what are you thinking about, Vic? Question. If you're into this sort of thing, head to Portland's Casa Diablo, which bills itself as a blank strip club. Input your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. If it turns out to be what I think it is, I'm going to very good. 
fucking vegan bread. I'm down. And if you go, check out the gluten-free, responsibly harvested champagne room. And nobody fell for this one. I don't trust Chris Hudson enough to eat it. Yeah, but uh, they... People do. As disgustingly disturbing as it is. It's the ones that are usually that are really bad. Let's enjoy the freedom of the road. Let's take a road trip. When in Louisiana, go off the beaten path and visit the Louisiana State Penitentiary, also known as Angola. The prison features a fully operational blank that's run by prisoners and open to the public. Type in your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Okay, what did everyone pick? We wish. It made sense because it would mean actual yard keeping equivalent to a public park. All right. I like that prison that figured out that they could keep all their prisoners on good behavior. Because they gave them a pit. Funeral, war, okay, hell's angels, Jesus. In 1932, Australia declared an unusual war against blank. Write your lies now. I know it's fun. Ah! Okay, find the truth. So hard is I know this is the most embarrassing for. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Everyone's a winner. Australia's Ministry of War sent soldiers to kill thousands of pesky I'm emus. I'm only Although one because I picked the defibrillator. At first I thought it said Austria. Have been spent on surface to emu missiles. And these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. No, that that is actually one of their shame moments. They'll be like, we're good at everything except fighting emus. Ah. <sighs> Because there were actually more casualties than humans died than there were humans. Ow! Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. <laughs> and don't let that de- Did you just ask how? Yes! It disappears you after round two. Are they right, like an ostrich? Can they gut you? They are twice as big as an ostrich, twice as pissed off, okay, and they have armored heads. For the reasonable Humans price have of three guns. Of cattle and free room and board, this is the being taught, hired a specialized they still had whose guns. Main job, weirdly enough, was to blank. But this is also Australia. When has one gun been enough to take that in? Okay, take a look and find the truth. Ah! All right, who picked what? Believable. Yeah. Charlie Brown is the only reason I know this one. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Apparently he was very much a Duck fan, though. Okay. 
Select a category. What is Nazis in there? <laughs> I don't know, but we're picking it. Okay, here's the question. Because according what the to fuck, a recently uncovered letter, the Nazis had plotted to kill Winston Churchill and members of his war cabinet with exploding blank. Right, oh, please help they didn't do the same thing we did to Castro. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Huh. I know this one too. Would not have guessed. They almost got away with this. I mean, to be fair, they did. They were big on chocolate. And that means that well, they, they actually did make a couple prototypes. It was a standard army rash chocolate bar, but it had been hollowed out, and when you bit into it, it broke a monofilament, which then set off a charge. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2015, a woman from West Sussex, United Kingdom, who suffers from severe agoraphobia, a fear of going outside, finally got up the nerve to leave her house. And of course, once she was out there, she blank. Input your lies now. See if we can come up with the same lie again. Probably. Okay, here are your choices. Close enough. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you all missed it. How do you fall into a manhole? I just want to know. Was she expecting guardrails? I mean, she'd never been outside. Yeah, she 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 didn't want to go outside, so I mean. Welcome to the final fibbage. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Take a look at your final fibbage question. The seemingly harmless item that playwright Tennessee Williams choked to death on in a Manhattan hotel suite. Type in your lies now. I almost want to keep looking this up. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> I'm more hurt that no one picked my lie. And I'm also, and it just, done. I wondered because I wondered. Wait, are they misspelled how you would say I drops bottle cap? I don't know. So I wonder if it was someone's badly spelled lie for a minute. See, toothpick, more people choke on a toothpick than anything else. I would believe that. Also remember the oh. house episode where a man nearly kills himself with that way. Found it. Tennessee Williams was found dead at age 71 on February 25th, 1983. Says Chief Medical Examiner of New York City Elliot Gross reported that Williams had choked to death from inhaling the plastic cap of a bottle of the type used on bottles of nasal spray or eye solution 
The report was later corrected on August 14th to state that Williams had actually been using the cat found in his mouth to ingest barbiturates and had actually died from a toxic level of secondol. <laughs> oh. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's where we're going to end for tonight. That, that's a good place to end is somebody dying from the yeah. nasal spray. <laughs> Hey. Eh. <laughs> All right. So you guys want to say your good nights? I've given up streaming for right now because I, I cannot find the time nor the motivation. So I will uh, eventually do that. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> Over the Edge, tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Central on Community Radio for East Central Illinois, 90.1 FM, WEFT Champagne. Streaming online at nw.weft.org slash listen. All right. And uh, I'll go ahead and say my good night and uh, do my outro. And uh, as always, guys, thank you for being here. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for having us. Good night. Night. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to prod the subscribe button. If you want to be kept up to date of when we go live and stuff like that, make sure to ring the bell, but also check out the social media links down below. The Facebook page, the Twitter account, the Tumblr account, and the permanent invite for the Discord server where we, I make sure to notify you of when we go live or post new videos or stuff like that. All that so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio!